talking about interval estimation. First, a very important notion of level of significance. The level of significance is a very important number in statistics. It's the number between 0 and 1, but practically, uh, if you want to be a serious researcher, the level of significance should be not bigger than 0, 0, 5. Whenever you claim something and you say that the level of significance is bigger, then everybody will say it's not statistically significant. Okay, so this number is should be as small as possible. Okay, let theta denote the population parameter. And the definition says, we shall say that AB is a confidence interval of parameter theta at the level of significance alpha if probability that theta is between A and B, it means somewhere in this interval, is equal 1 minus alpha. What does it mean? Let's assume, for example, that our alpha is 0, 0, 0,05, meaning 5%. Then 1 minus alpha is 95%. Okay, so we're searching for the two numbers, A and B, such that probability of theta being there is 95%. It means you need 95% here, and on the left and right you need uh, about half of half of this number which is 2.5% and 2.5% assumed another level of significance, for example, alpha equals 0, 0, 001. So let, let's make it smaller. What does it mean? We want to be sure 0, 99%. Uh, sorry, just 99% sure. The more certain you want to be, the bigger the spread of A and B will be. Okay? Let me illustrate it with the following picture. Where is John? Where is John? So if somebody asks you, where is John? You can say, well, he's probably at home. And let's give it, say, 80% of certainty. But if somebody insists and tells you, well, but really, truly, tell me where he really is. Well, then you say, you are becoming cautious and you say, well, I can tell you he's probably in Lublin. But now he insists once again, I want to be nearly 100% sure. More certainty, please tell me where John is. Then you can, you can put your hand on your chest, on your heart and say, well, 99% sure that he is somewhere in Poland. Or better than that, somewhere on this planet. Okay, so the more certainty you demand, the wider the confidence interval becomes. So what would it be? So if we took 99% our the wider we would have. So this is A B for alpha equals zero zero one. This is A B for alpha equals zero zero five. Okay? Next topic, let's consider a big farm of chicken. We want to estimate the mean of the chicken. So let's assume we catch 36 chicken and find their weights. And we even find the mean of those 36. And we obtain 2.1 kilograms. But we want to know the real mean of the whole population of the thousands of chicken. So, let's formulate it more uh, statistically. Find confidence interval 
for the mean of weights of chicken if the sample gave us the mean 2.1 kilograms and there were 36 chicken so the sample contained 36 elements and we want to know at the level of significance alpha equal 5%. In order to solve this mystery let's recall the central limit theorem what do we have? If some random variable was normal with parameters mu and sigma squared and then we took a sample sample of n elements and we took mean of the sample the sample mean then what's the distribution of the sample mean? The, the distribution of the sample mean is also normal with parameters mu it means the same parameter as here and a variance changes a little bit the variance becomes sigma divided by square root of n and this is squared so that's the new variance we've been showing why and there are two cases there are two cases we might assume the first case is that sigma squared is known and second case sigma squared is unknown okay